good morning guys welcome back to the sullivan family you look like you belong to the same body back there girls you look like you've got two heads um so it's tuesday today um these guys had an impromptu day off school yesterday didn't you yeah because of the snow and toby as well mm -hmm. um because when we woke up in the morning the snow was coming down and ben when ben went to work he said the roads were really bad later on in the day it wasn't as bad so i possibly could have taken them but i didn't want to risk it and sometimes you have to make those decisions and it's just not always worth it so we had a day off but there wasn't really much snow was there there is a wee bit of snow on the ground here but the roads are clear so we've come through this morning haven't we yeah because we haven't had although the snow the sky is looking very snowy but it hasn't snowed so we shall see as the day goes on so you all excited about going back to school today yeah, yeah. everyone's got their hats and their gloves to Toby keep them warm. Hasn't. Toby hasn't got his hat and gloves, but um, I've got my gloves, just not wearing them. They're in my pocket. So, uh, what are we going to be doing today? What are you going to be doing today at school? ICT. Oh, are you? That sounds cool. Making a PowerPoint. Oh, are you? Yeah. That sounds cool. What about you? I don't know. You don't know? The day before yesterday, we were making a PowerPoint about the moon. Do you mean last Friday? Yeah. Last Friday. Yeah. You are making a PowerPoint about the moon? Yeah. Cool. Are you doing the lunar cycle? Uh, I don't know. We're just making like a power We're doing point. the lunar cycle. That's cool. Right, should we go to school? Yeah. We're going yeah. to school. What's well, it's, ch it's chasing it. Your car is chasing it, Flo. No. Yeah, yeah chasing. The blue car's mine. Are you just going to wrap yourself up in the rug, are you? As you can see, we're back home. We're back home and I've set up the glow traps for them. If you remember, when we went to Smith's Toys to get um, stuff after Christmas for the kids, when they went to spend their Christmas money, um, I picked up some more of those cars because we've had that glow track set for ages. But every time, um, we've had one twice actually. One, I bought the Dino Tracks one once and they broke the cars to that. And then I bought a glow tracks one. And they broke the cars to that and we tried everything to fix them but couldn't didn't know you could buy replacement cars found them at smith's toys for like two pound each um over the moon they're over the moon so i set it all up it's a bit snowy up there set it all up for them to play and Flo is hilarious she's just like oh wow so they like that this is what we've got here guys it's not very snowy the roads are clear it has been snowing this morning, um, but just on and off, flurries, as they call it, flurries of snow. So, as you can see, Flo is feeling a bit better, and so is Joseph. Um, when Joseph got up this morning, he's got quite a bad cough as well, and when he got up this morning, he had quite a temperature. Um, but as the morning has gone on, um, he seems to have picked up a bit. He's had some cowpol as well, so that always works wonders. He was like it yesterday as well, unfortunately. He woke up in the morning with a bit of a temperature. Um, there's obviously something going around the house again. Um, Erin's had a few problems with her ear, as I was saying in my blog last night. Um, but she says it's feeling better today. Her eardrum did burst the other week again in her worst ear, which is her right ear. Um, which obviously affects her hearing aid and everything else and her, and generally her, her hearing, which is already obviously not good. Um, but she's feeling much better. But I think sometimes even though 
you know, the older ones might bring a mild version of something home. The little ones that haven't sort of caught all the stuff yet, um, haven't got all those, uh, um, all that immunity, they'll catch everything that's going. I've got a bit of a sore throat as well, but I don't know whether mine's just tiredness or not. One sec. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'm not lies. Um, so as I was saying in my blog last night, it's been quite a weekend, this weekend. It's um, oh, just very much lack of sleep, very much so. Um, obviously Flo has not been sleeping all that well. She doesn't sleep very well anyway, but she's not been well. Um, Joseph's been up in the night. He always gets up in the night, but he's been up in the night uh, as well. Erin was up in the night, just generally not very much sleep since like last thursday last last night was better um the night before was okay three nights before that um was just not good there was one night when flo woke up bless her i might have already talked about it and um was coughing until she was sick then we had to bath her in the middle of the night and etc 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 and then she was sick again and um i think i did talk about it in the vlog the other day probably too much information but yeah, it just it takes its toll on everybody, really. Um, so I've been very emotional the past few days because I've just been really, really tired. Um, and then my skin comes out when I get a bit stressed out and tired. My skin gets lots of spots. So I've got lots of nice additions. And actually, when I get stressed as well, I get lots of stomach problems. So like um, just random stomach pains and stuff out of nowhere. Uh oh, baby's crying. She's downstairs with Isabel. Um, Isabel's on study leave. Charlotte's on study leave as well, but she's gone to school to study instead. And Isabel's, because um, I think Charlotte's got an exam later this week, which Isabel doesn't have one till next week. So she's chosen to study at home. She's actually making brownies. That's her way of studying. <laughs> she has actually got a cooking exam next Monday. Um, so it's all good practice and we get to eat it, which is even better. So yeah, it's just been, I feel like the last few days has been a real kind of, I don't even know what word to use, if I'm honest. Um, so I've, I've, my head has been all over the place. So I probably haven't kind of, um, I haven't put out as many blogs. It's been a couple of nights where I've not put one out because I just haven't been able to formulate words and stuff in my head. Just noticed that I tidied up in here this morning and they've been back in and messed it up. Um, so yeah, if I have been a little bit weird, I apologise. I'm starting to feel a little bit more human today, but, um, I used to give myself a hard time about things like that when I was having, you know, an off day or feeling really, really tired and just not, you know, and your brain just feels muddled and you just can't, you just can't formulate stuff. Nothing, can't, you can just, you know, you just have to concentrate on getting through the day. I used to give myself a hard time about that and I used to think you know I should have done this and I should have done that and all the things that I should have done um whereas now I know there's always a reason behind it you know there's it could be could be anything really it could be you know time of the month it could be just tiredness it could be other things on your mind it could be lots of different things um but whereas now I will just think right I know I feel like this so I'm just going to concentrate on what I need to get done. So, you know, kids to school or kids, whatever they need first, have I got to be anywhere? Have I got to do the shopping? Do we have this, the washing? All those sorts of things. She's so grumpy. Um, she's, she, I think she's trying to eat the cake. Hold on. She wants to eat the cake mixture, but she's not allowed <laughs> until it's done. Um, so she keeps getting angry because she's, she's all right one minute and then the next minute she's just kind of, she's just inconsolable at the moment. I don't quite, it could be a growth thing as well. It could be a, that kind of around this age, they tend to get that little bit more clingy. Um, they have that kind of real separation anxiety. Um, and I mean, she's never away from us. So, but she, you know, she's got to literally be holding on to me all the time. Um, which is difficult when you're trying to do the dishes and stuff, but I've learned how to do them one handed. So that's fine. Um, yeah, so I was saying about, you know, giving myself time and space to just get done what I need to get done and then think about the rest the next day. 
So I used to, I used to let it affect me. I used to let it be like, you know, I didn't get this done and I used to give myself a really hard time. And then I'd wake up the next day feeling guilty and oh, I feel bad for not doing this or not saying that or not. Like today, for instance, I know that the kids probably will go out and play in the snow. I don't know if it's snowing anymore in Lossie. I've realised they haven't put their wellies on, so they've got their trainers on, which means they'll probably get wet um, and then their feet will probably be wet for the rest of the day. So that has now made me feel like I should have put the wellies on this morning and I just didn't even think. Um, but it's those little things. And then when you let them get to you and that's the kind of... I'm like that this week. Um, anyway, I'm starting to feel a little bit more human. had much better sleep last night. Um... Flo didn't wake up quite as much and because she's still in with us this is another reason she's still in with us because this kind of cough isn't that she's got especially at night time it's not a new thing really she she gets it quite a lot which is why I'm thinking that she may well have asthma same as Olivia when she was small obviously it gets worse if she's got a cold or anything like that um but she's had it on and off most winters to be honest um I know she's only tiny so she's only done like two winters but yeah um so anyway and obviously like where she's been on and off poorly since october it's going to be worse but she is she's very grouchy as well not all the time bless her she sometimes it's nice when you get those little glimmers of when she's happy but then trying to make her happy again um sometimes can be a bit difficult but then she wants lots of cuddles so that's fine by me we can do lots of cuddles we can do loads of cuddles and she's got plenty of people home to cuddle lizzie's still home um, she doesn't go back till next week. Olivia's home at the moment and Isabel's home, obviously, and Charlotte's home when she's um, not at school. Um, but she finds it easier to study at school, so that's why she's gone in. Um, Isabel always finds it easy to study on her own, whereas, you know, they're different. So it's just how it is. Um, so anyway, now I've rambled on about, you know, how I've been feeling the last few days. Just thought I'd tell you all because I know it's not just me that feels like that. And I know there'll be lots of you that feel like that. And probably lots of you that give yourself a hard time about feeling like that. Which then just makes you feel even more rubbish. Um, because you just think, it's just I'm just useless. Which isn't true at all. You're not at all. Not, it's just, you know, everybody has off days. And it's allowing yourself to know that you have off days. And just going, yeah, it's just had a bad day. Getting up the next day and thinking, oh, I feel better today. I'm going to do this, this and this today. And just leaving that back there. Anyway, one of the things I need to get done is we have the twins' birthday in nine days. Um, all of them. So I have been ordering whatever they have wanted me to order um the older ones obviously know exactly what they want i think i've ordered everything um they both wanted some stuff from shein and the little ones had some jeans from shein as well i've ordered that because it can be up to 12 days delivery i ordered it like 10 days so i'm really hoping that it comes on time normally they're quite good so it's only i've only ever really waited the full 12 days when it's been like over christmas or busy periods so I'm hoping, it's normally about a week, I'm hoping that will all arrive in time. Um, Charlotte's got some other stuff that she's ordered, which obviously I've paid for, um, but she had it all in a TikTok shop basket. So that'll be a surprise when it comes because I don't know what I'm wrapping up. Um, she also wanted some um, some trainers, which I've got. Isabel wanted some other bits and pieces, some sportswear and some jewellery, which I've ordered. Um, I've ordered the twins... It, obviously having birthdays very close to Christmas it's um sometimes difficult to know what to buy especially as like for Christmas the twins got loads of Barbie stuff they got clothes they got a lot of stuff um but equally you know you want them to have stuff for their birthday quite often what we do when they get money from family and stuff um because they'll want to spend some of their Christmas money but when it comes to their birthday um I tend to keep back I do keep back some of their Christmas money as well um, but I tend to keep back some of their birthday money so that they can spend it in the summer. So when the summer comes around and like they want a new scooter or, you know, something like that, um, they can put it towards that in the summer. Um, because it's difficult buying, like last year they did have bikes for their birthday, but of course then they sit there for a few months not being used because it's too cold and too slippy and too icy to go out. Although their bikes that we 
got them last year are brilliant still they still fit them no problem um so yeah last year they got bikes which was their big present this year rather than having a big present they've got just little bits and pieces that they've wanted i'm not going to tell you what they've got just in case they watch it because they won't know they don't know what they've got um the, the only thing they did want was some trainers which i've got them um but they've got a few bits of other things clothes and some other bits that they won't know about and i hope that they'll like it um so yeah i've got lots of organizing for that to do obviously i need to get cards and balloons and i don't know what to do about cake this year actually last year i think we bought the older ones a cake and isabel made the younger ones a cake but i'm not sure she's just gonna make one big cake she likes making the cake but i always feel it's a bit bad making her own birthday cake but she enjoys doing it so yeah and as normal um we have a budget for i've explained this so many times we have a budget for everybody's birthday so everybody has from us um everybody has uh, a set amount of money that we spend on presents and then we have a set amount of money that we spend on a day out or something to do together like no i have had a dominoes you know so it's normally 100 150 pound um for presents and then 100 150 pound for something to do obviously with the twins because there's four of them we tend and because there's an age difference as well um it's quite difficult to find something that they all want to do last year we went to the trampoline park and they all liked that so that was good but what we tend to do is take their um like the budget we have for each one of them rather than just having one one budget um for all four we ha we put it all together so when i work out the spending f our spending for the year um i account for you know 12 birthdays at 250 pound each um and then there's presents and then there's a day out or you know, a meal or a takeaway or something um we used to obviously do parties which used to back in the day when the older ones were younger i'd probably have managed to do a party somewhere for 150 quid um but no more and plus i think it's it's nice enough doing parties and sometimes i think maybe the younger ones would have liked to party with all their friends but equally it's a really nice time for us to it used to be really stressful doing parties for the older ones that had them you'd be you know you'd they'd want to invite the whole class and then you'd be stressed out about doing party bags and keeping them all you know because parents will drop off as i will drop off and bye see you later i'm off shopping um and then you've got like 30 kids running around and, and it's just really stressful so we decided that you know birthdays would be unless they really really didn't want to but they've never said that they don't um would be a day where we all go and do something swimming ice skating um like i said um, a me or some of the old ones like lizzie just had like sort of take away pizza all of us together and watch a watch a film um so that kind of something that we do all together i think for somebody's was it lizzie's 17th birthday or 16th 16th i think we were in lockdown um and we just had a party in the garden. We just got loads of food because it's really nice weather. Loads of food. Just had a party at home in the garden. It was a really good laugh. Um, so, yeah, we like to do something together. But, I mean, and I know that, that there's been stuff put out there that we take the kids' money and spend it on a day out, which is absolute rubbish. We don't do that at all. We have a budget, our money, for the kids. Um which when it comes to the twins birthday it all gets put together because there's obviously four of them so rather than having you know say we have a hundred pound for a day out or a pizza or whatever it's normally more than that um <clears throat> for each child because they all have a birthday on the same day we don't just have 100 pounds we put all of it together um and do something sometimes we might do two things because you know the older ones might not really want to do what the young ones do so we might get a takeaway for the older ones and go out somewhere for the younger ones but all of us will go does that make sense i know there was a big thing and we've i know there was a big thing last year about somebody taking so something that i said out of total context surprise surprise and um putting out there that we spent the kids money on a day out it's absolute rubbish we don't at all the money that they have from other people they keep and they spend on what they want the younger ones i do keep those back a little bit because they would literally just go and spend it all on roblox and just buy themselves loads of rubbish 
so I do keep those back a little bit so they've got some money in the summer so when there's something they want they can go oh I want this but as far as the older ones are concerned that's their money if they want to save it they'll save it if they want to spend it they'll spend it um we never take any of the kids money because it's theirs so when I talk about putting the kids money together um for a day out I mean our budget money so the money we have put aside in my budget for um birthdays christmas everything else and we put that together for a bigger day out because there's four of them and it's difficult when there's four of them on one day to make each and every one of them feel special it's very difficult um i think it's difficult with twins in general in making each one of them because they already share a birthday you know um it's difficult with twins to we always used to find it when we just had the one set of twins to make them feel like it was their day because it's both of their days. So, of course, when we had a second set of twins on the same day, it's very difficult to then make each individual one feel special that it's their day. Um, especially as, you know, you can't, I mean, we, we probably could get through four cakes, to be to be perfectly honest. But, you know, you we haven't really got room for four sets of balloons and um, four cakes and... You kind of have to compromise a little bit and it's we've ne we've still not quite got it we've still not quite got it nailed on of what we should do and what are the best things and i think for the older twins first birthday they both had a cake so we had two caterpillar cakes but obviously we could have four cakes four small cakes um one year we've done cupcakes so the we had lots of cupcakes and then each one of them had an individual cupcake with um with a number candle in we've done that one um but we kind of go with them and sort of say to them what do you want to do especially with the older ones what would you rather do and they last year I think we had two cakes and that was one big chocolate one for the older ones and then Belle made one for the younger ones that worked out quite well sometimes we thought about doing a half and half cake because they also all I mean the little twins are much more similar in the things that they like um but the older twins are totally different so you know they both like completely different things um so yeah it's 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 difficult it, it's we're trying to make accommodate everyone but i just wanted to clear up the whole money thing because i know that there are videos out there about us and i know that um most of the time i'm not bothered but i just wanted to clear that one up because that's a little bit of a stickler and it keeps coming back it keeps coming back so i'm just um explaining and i know most of you already know that but just for the people at the back there you go anyway i I'm going to go and get on with whatever it is I'm supposed to be doing. So I've done some birthday stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do some washing. That's what I'm going to do. Also, this week, I've come back. Um, I'm trying to put together a... I've got a price list. Trying to put together prices, colours, etc, etc, etc for our launch on Saturday. Um, I've had lots of questions already. So I'm doing all that this week. I'm putting it all together this week. Colours. Um, obviously, you've seen the designs already. Colours uh, and prices um, for kids and adults, obviously. It's still snowing. Um, that's what I'm working on this week as well. I've just remembered I've got to do the ironing. I'll leave that till later. I did get out and get my shopping last night, though, which you will have seen from the shopping vlog. Um... Sea's looking quite cold. I'm going because now I'm I'm thinking it's very dark. Right, I'm off. I'll be back later. Um, I was just having lunch and I thought I'd show you the snow. It's actually I'm in my slippers and I've just realised the floor is wet. It's actually snowing <clears throat> quite a lot, but it's not really settling all that much at the moment. But yeah, we are snowing. It's nice snow. I can say that now because I've done the school run and Ben's got to pick them up later. But it's it's a very snowy sky as well. You can't really see very far. So who knows? The afternoon's going to do. Okay. So, we decided to cut Flo's hair. So, um, Flo's hair is a bit a bit wild, and um, it kind of goes in her face, and she doesn't always like having it up, although she has got it up at the moment. So we decided to cut her a fringe. 
and I tell me that she doesn't look cute. Flo, show everybody your hair. <laughs> Is that Flo? That's out Flo. Where's Flo? Is she so beautiful? Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you got little pigtails? <gasps> oh, Flo, you look about five. You're so cute. Oh, oh, what's happening? She's standing up and down. Oh, you look like Joseph. Let's go have a look at Joseph about her. No, Joseph's. <gasps> there she is again. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh, sorry, I had my finger on the camera. Um, the wonky bit is the bit I did. The other bits is the bit that Olivia did. The straight bit. Um, she looks really cute. She looks so cute. She wasn't overly impressed at having her hair cut, but it's just got to the stage where it's always in her eyes. And um, then it gets in her food and everything else. And I just thought, you know what? We're just gonna cut her fringe. Um, <laughs> what is she doing? Because she's got quite a lot of hair. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you want? So now she even looks even cuter than she did before. Okay, so <clears throat> last week, the week before, I was saying about how I, um, I need a new desk and <clears throat> a new cabinet to put all my vinyls and stuff in because at the moment they're in a box under the desk and they're really not that easy to get to um and the desk i've got is just not it's not working very well for what i need it for so i've had my key delivery um i bought some stuff and we're going to kind of there's some stuff for the bedrooms as well <coughs> but we're going to make a start i say we isabel's going to make a start on putting together some of the furniture in the lounge obviously i'll have to wait for the weekend i think this weekend we're going to try and do the boys room and then the girls room <coughs> afterwards um so we're going to make a start in the lounge today bell's going to build the um they're alex drawers aren't they they are actually alex drawers but they're the wide ones um they've been suggested for keeping sheets of vinyl in um so my heat transfer vinyl comes in sheets so hopefully that will help to organise it a bit better than it is at the moment. Um, especially as I've now got different types of vinyl as well and I want to kind of keep them separate. Um, so yeah, she's going to make a start on building that. Um, because she loves building flat pack furniture. Yep, and you can sort your desk out at the same time. Yeah, and we're going to, so I'm going to, I'm going to sell my desk and the another filing cabinet because um, I can't sort my desk out today. Can you not? It's a mess. My desk is a mess. Um, so it's kind of all got to be done in stages. But if Belle can build the cabinet, then I can put the vinyl in it and we can kind of slowly get round to doing the rest of it. So that is the plan.
there's more in life that I want So Isabel has finished the unit. Um, we didn't realise that a certain little miss had come along and turned the time-lapse off uh, and then taken lots of pictures of herself. Um, and then the time-lapse went back on and then she came back and took lots of pictures of herself again. Hence why the time-lapse cut out. But the unit is finished. Last thing. This is in. Obviously it's not going to stay there. I've got to move things around. But that's to put my sheets of vinyl in and it's going to go next to the desk. I haven't got a corner desk this time. I've got like a straight desk. So that's built. Isabel's made more brownies. Like the ones yesterday. They smell amazing. I am going, this is what Florence keeps doing at the moment. Getting Freddo's out the cupboard and just bringing them to me. Um. I am going to cook her stew for tea. They're going to be home from school in a minute. Ben has to go back out because um, Charlotte has an appointment. Um, so he has to nip out with her. Uh, and I'm going to make tea. He's also got to get some bread and bits of bobs like that. I forgot to get last night. So, oh, I'm moving the thing. I'm going to make some stew. I thought I'd time lapse it. Not all that interesting, but I thought I'd come up there anyway. Right guys, you can see the snow is coming down. Um, and she's coming down quite fast now. But I would have pictured, oh it is as well. I would have pictured the, um, I would have filmed the stew, played up, um, but they ate it first. I forgot, sorry. It's very yummy. We've got some for later. And um, Liz is just having hers. Uh, we'll have ours later. And there might be some left over for Ben to take to work. But it's not looking likely. I actually had one more bag of potatoes to put in. But I couldn't fit them in. Because that's the biggest pan I've got. And um, and it was full. But we've got some nice crusty bread to go with ours later as well. Because Ben went and got some. So yeah. That's it for today guys. Um, just a bit of a catch up. Really? I have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, that's what it's like at the moment. Day by day. Just taking day by day because that's the easiest thing to do this week, especially with the weather. Um, because it's quite icy out there. So I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, drop us a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.